sound is rolling. All right, yeah, we need an intro, man. Come on, bro. What's going on? It's Morgan and Morgan, the same story. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Switch. Yeah. Switch. Up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy DJ Switch, the mixtape king. If you don't know, now you know you tune in to put me on Switch. We're coming to live in effect from M Studios in Newtown Junction. Make sure you like and subscribe. Give us some comments. Let us know what you think of the show and let us know who you'd like to see on the show. Hosted by your boy, well, you know, the mixtape king. And of course, um, yeah, man, here to get us up with some donations, man. I got to check actually where that button is so I can get some money on the damn show. Um, yeah, man, just doing this for the love of hip hop. And of course, we're trying to dab into some other um, elements. Uh, you know, there is other elements that we have. Have, and we have crazy artists in South Africa and we just we're trying to get them. Make sure you also stream us live on podbean.com. Just make sure you go put me on switch.podbean.com. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we're connecting now to iHeartRadio in the United States. Yeah, give us some help, perhaps. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm um, yeah, man. Today's a uh, special show. Uh, someone I know for a very, very long time, you know, he's been carrying this element for yo. For years, man, for years. And uh, actually, I've known him since the beginning up until now. And man is doing crazy, crazy things. What up, Morgan? What up, Morgan? Yo, yeah, we got the same name. What up, Morgan? We also have the same name, yeah. <laughs> it always feels weird greeting you, bro. Always. It's the weirdest greeting ever. It's like, you know, it's, it's like I'm greeting myself. Yeah, it also feels like that. But I won't refuse to call you anything else. Like, I won't go, what up, dude? <laughs> or what up, Switch? My guy. Or, or yo, switch. my guy. Yeah, it's always like... switch to me, bro. You Morgan. It's, yeah, it's like Morgan Morgan, you know? M&M. M&M. M&M, 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 bro. Yeah, well, welcome to the show, bro. Thanks for having me, dude. Yo, man, I see you doing crazy things like, yo, next level stuff. Yeah. And it's I'd like, you know, uh, uh, you're just taking it to another to another level, you know what I mean? And I mean, since I know you from 2 on 2 B-Boy Battle Days, you performed in our shows, and, um, you know, shout out to you, you know, for, 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 for keep doing this thing. You know, and I mean, it's like, how many years now? It's been, I've been, I've been beatboxing since 2009. I was Damn. in grade 11. And uh, so that's like 13 years now. Damn. Yo, let's give this man some hand claps out here. Yo. I done my, I done my 10,000 hours. Yo, you <laughs> paid your dues, bro. Yeah. I perfect, I, well, I wouldn't say perfected the art, but. Yeah. I would say I'm a seasoned beatboxer, bro. Like a Yo, veteran. man. I mean, if, if we go back into like the history of it all, like, I mean, um, you know, we've known some beatboxers actually, yeah. The first guy I really seen really kill it was Redwood. Dude, right? the DJ. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's like, you know, he cross-pollinated like, you know, um, turntablism and beatboxing at the same time. Yeah, at the right? same time. At the same time, you know? So he would beatbox and DJ and scratch at the same time. Yeah. And then we saw, you know, we saw ECT and Shimani, which is the LES and Bongs. Bongani yeah. Fassi. They'd do a show where they'd, you know, do this beatbox. Bongs would beatbox. The LES would rap. And then we saw, you know, then we saw... Um, we saw George Vakian. Hey, the first, right? the, like he, I think he was the pioneer of beatboxing in South Africa. I think, yeah. I think he was really, well, him and Redwood really... Yeah, were like the real skillful beatboxers that would do multiple sounds and all those kind of things. You sure. know what I mean? And you know, then we saw George Vakin just take it to another level where, mm. where it was more corporate. It was more more live shows, more crazy, more fun. You know, and, and he would do all these openings at different shows. Yeah, because he would like you know, I mean, he would you know take some of the the co- the commercial songs and put it in his show. Yeah, and I think that's where the difference came in. Right, he, and that's what, he made it more like, oh, this is showmanship. Like when, it, And he would appeal to our local market because you do like house songs yeah. and, and those kind of he things. He would dance as well. He would yeah. do the dance. Man. And we'd do the dance, you know, the uh, uh, Manisa and all those kind of things. Mm-hmm. And then comes Morgan Beatbox. You're forgetting Cyber. All right, then we had Cyber, Cyber. and then the other homie, Liam. We had Liam, yeah, Cyber. There's been a lot of guys, but Oops I think the, the, main, noise. the main guys for me uh, when I started beatboxing was George and Cyber. Right. I saw Redwood. I saw George and Cyber. Uh, sorry, George. Yeah, he'd done some crazy shows. Mm-hmm. Cyber went to F1 in Australia. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Cyber did some huge things. And he also, because Cyber's British, he brought... Is he really British? <coughs> uh, he's got the accents. This is the biggest question we always <laughs> wanted dun, to dun, know. Dun. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get that sound effect, though. But he, he definitely brought a different style. Yeah, he yeah, did, He yeah. didn't do the local stuff like George did. He did the more technical kind of things, you know? Such a technical beatboxer. And the funny thing is, you know, when beatboxing was emerging in South Africa, um, you know, everybody looked up to Razel, the godfather of noise. I'm one of them, bro. Right? And everybody went and tried to mimic his set. Yeah. Right. Just to get like a feeling to to understand beatboxing to, um, you know, and it do the four elements. That was yeah. the the most iconic, uh, Razel show. 
right? Uh, man, I even got that guy's CD, bro. Like, imagine buying a beatboxer's CD. Yeah. Like, what do you think you're going to listen to? In actual fact, it was so... It was ridiculous. It took beatboxing to the level it needed to get right, to. Right, you know? And I mean, this is another question, and I think and this is why I wanted to have you on the show, because we're covering all the elements. Is beatboxing dead? No. And the reason why it's not is this piece of equipment in front of me, which we'll talk about, but yeah. there are beatboxers doing mad stuff yeah. just, just with their mouths. Uh, there's huge um, uh, battling competitions, man, overseas in yeah. Poland. Mad, they get like a crowd of a thousand people. You must <laughs> see the video. It's called Grand Beatbox Battle. Then they battle on equipment. Yeah. Beatboxers battling each other. That's crazy. So it's definitely not dead, but I definitely think in South Africa, yep. um, it... it I've kind of ke- I've kind of kept it alive. Yes, um, yo, I want to give you some claps for that, man. I, mean, I think you, you you are the guy that had re- had, had, has really kept it alive okay. in the commercial scene. You know, uh, you know, you you know, you you you've sort of like gone more corporate. Yeah, you're not doing beatbox shows in suits. Yeah, right. That's crazy. And, and you're opening up a lot of comedy shows too. Yeah, the, the comedy came along from just spending hours on stage, bro. Just like when you do a show, you say one thing that's funny. You may not even have meant to have said it. <laughs> but, but, but people laughed and right. you're like, okay. And then it gives you this confidence to kind of say more. Sure. And then it would go from one joke to two jokes to three jokes right. until I was getting booked by comedy clubs and performing with comedians. And, I, and I never, ever thought I would be a, a comedian. And I still don't think I am. I'm, right. I'm just able to, I'm a funny guy. You're just a funny guy. I'm just yeah. a funny guy. Yeah. I've never really written material. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, you know, uh, you know, when you look at this, like you really got a niche. You've got a gap that no one can actually penetrate. I don't think no one can. I just think I'm the only one that has. And I mean, like you know, we're gonna get through the, through this, and hopefully, you guys are gonna you know pick up some tips, and maybe you want to take this up as a you know as a, as, a, as a as a hobby. And you know, most times, hobbies become careers. Yeah. And I think you know when we when we look at back at at everything we've seen, you know, we've seen a lot, like. I've seen you on stage. I've seen you at different events. Uh, I've seen all the other beatboxes. They've, they've all had different things to to add to the community, to add to the craft. Um, you know, you know. If we look at like somebody getting into this, what would it take? I mean, first of all, it's lots of time. It's a lot of practice, like with anything else, sure. right? What are the basics? Um, I've always said to people like that. I'm born with something. Like right. you, you can't just take a normal person. Um, and, and teach them how to beatbox. But if you were to just push through that and wanted to be a right. beatboxer, the basics would be the basics, uh, the same as music, the kick drum. Right. So, you know, you want to get that... Right. That, that's, that's like a bass. You like, you know, when, you, when your mother says, turn on, or you, you know, yeah, you, yeah. when the boyfriend t- turns up the bass yeah. and it distorts, that's the bass. That's and the, the girl bass. turns it down. Or, you know when you, do, when you adjust your radio and it sounds all fucked up? That's distorting. <laughs> that's the base. <laughs> right? So once you got that kick drum and that's just creating pressure in your mouth and releasing it. It's as simple right. as it's just like right. that. You you then want to add your elements of 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 um like drums or sounds and like right. you could go like right. That you know I sometimes do a snare where it's like when you when you blow a kiss to someone. Right. Um the snare this is where this is where it separates your your uh, boots and cats beatboxes with your actual beatboxes is when you start doing the snares. Wait, wait, you said boots and what? Cats. Boots and cats. Yeah, so you get beatboxes that literally will just go. Yeah, that's like me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to hurt yourself, Switch. <laughs> Yo, you've got it's Morgan. Come on. So <laughs> once you get the snare yeah. and the snare goes. Right. That's when you get separated from a Boots and Cats beatboxer to a beatboxer, because then you can start going. Yo, this is crazy. Um, then you can go to more complex snares, the spit snare. I find the snare very basic, but it's a, a new sound that's just come out. It's and yo, it, if you fill your mouth with air and you go, right, okay, but then you got to do it without your hands, and then you just shorten it. Then you can go, yo. All right, all right, all right, all right, right. So, you know, and, and you know, and, and yeah, man, you know, that's why I love hip hop so much because it's, it's, it's a demon on its own. You mm. know, like when it evolves, it evolves. And when it takes off, it takes off. You know, uh, you know, RIP to take off, man. Damn, that's a crazy one. Uh, you know, and it's just, it's just that thing of, of you know, it, it's just, it, and that's where people, you know, gravitate towards it and, and they want to, and they can make a career out of it. I mean, once again, you know, people are still making a lot more money in hip hop. Than what they do in any other genre because it's so open. 
Mm. It's got such a big array of uh, elements that you can apply to, yeah. right? And I mean, there's a job for everybody, whether it be the cameraman, the the sound guy, you know, the beatboxer, the graffiti artist, the photographer. You can apply yourself to everything, to the graphic designer, sure. to the DJ, to the breaker, to all those kind of things. And I mean, you know, when you look at like where it started, like with the Dougie Freshers, you know, back then, that's like the, I don't know, he just passed, I think, last year. Um, I'm Dougie sure. Fresh, right? Dougie Fresh is the, one of the originator uh, beatboxes. Yeah, if right? we look back, back, back to day one. Yeah, that's mm. like he was there in the forefront, mm. and he'd do that, uh, 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 you know, like, sure, yeah. and that was like a part of beatboxing that it would just make people that how would you create a sound from your mouth? Just like a break dancer would create like aerobatic moves just from their body without any ropes or you know or any trampolines yeah you know it's that and then you'd have like the dj would create also musical sounds with a record scratching it back and forward and buttons and what yeah and buttons and all that kind of thing because it's also evolved and then graffiti creating an art from spray can and your imagination on a wall i mean how normally you'd only draw on on, on a piece of paper, paper yeah but now on, to draw on a wall with a spray with a spray can yeah i don't think it was made for that you but know what I was, mean? It was used for that, yeah. 100%. And then, of course, then you get the MC or the rapper to, you know, take the English dictionary and create a story. You know what I mean? So that is like, it's just, it's just you know, that's why, you know, hip-hop is so, it's so versatile. It is really, it, 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 it extends you and it's an extension of you. You know what I mean? So like, you know, uh, you know, sorry, I'm getting, yo, I'm dropping some bars, by the way. Uh, but I think, <laughs> I think it's just, you know, when you've been in this game long enough, you understand like, you know, there's the, the elements, you know, and, 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 you know, when you look at beatboxing, like, you know, you say around the world, it's still mad crazy. They're filling up venues of a thousand people. In South Africa, we're not going to get 10 people for a beatbox event. No, nah, not just for a beatbox battle event, no. Nah. Right. You know, so you'd have to jump on or piggyback onto other events. Is there competitions happening? In South Africa? Yeah. They are. They're small. Yeah. Um, really just kind of put together. Yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. Really, there's not real uh, like any sponsorships behind the guys that are doing this. So, yo, man, we gotta put you on and shoot your shot. Y'all can come battle at my event. God damn. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, yeah, I think they should, to be honest. But um, I mean, the one, the one battles that they had was at a church. They they couldn't get a venue, so they used the church. Yo, man, like it's the the, we just we just need a venue. That's it, bro. We can do it right at M Studios. Trust me. Yeah, we can lock that down, dude. But Trust me. So, he, so that here's the thing: is like. I do you remember you obviously know back to the city and they had the yeah. beatbox battle so I won that in 2018 and I was sort of crowned South African champ right right I haven't battled since then I I, I stepped away from battling okay. because I realized that I'm just gonna say it the best beatbox in the world lives in a one bedroom apartment and drives a Taz damn you don't make money in beatboxing by being the very best um, right there are guys that are. Um, making money with battling, but they're making money through views on YouTube and stuff right, like that. Right, right. I wanted to always stay live. I always wanted to stay on stage. I never wanted to go to making money off YouTube or TikTok or anything like that. But I also didn't, I also want, needed to pay the bills. You know? Of course, man, yeah. We all got to pay the bills. You know? I'm not going to put like 10 hours a day into something and... Um, it's it's not gonna like I, I would need to have a house to beatbox. Of course, yeah. yeah. You need a roof over your head. Yeah, well, you need a roof over your head. So I went the money route. Sure. And I uh, I'll never look back because I realized that I'm not one to try be the best. I'm one to share the art. Sure. Like I'm going like, do you know this song? Hey, <laughs> yes, sir. Like, MJ in the building, straight up. Billy Jean, you know immediately, and the crowds go. The crowds um when they when they like when you do that we all feel like it kind of like feels like unity like we all know this track yeah yeah, yeah. but it's coming out of his mouth correct and i've had people do the moonwalk like while i'm performing. <laughs> for me that's where that's where i'm where i've pushed my career and yeah. that's where i'm going to continue to push sure. it i'm not really interested in battling and trying to be the best i mean if you look at kaz right i mean you know kaz doesn't want to be the greatest rapper he wants to be the best businessman yeah in south africa you know, that's what he wants to do. He wants to make business moves, mm -hmm. you know, and we, you know, we call that the money moves and a lot of people are trying to do that move, but you got to have something to offer the game. Sure. You get me? And from there, you can then be better at, you know, making more business decisions. Sure. Because people think like, oh, I've got a first, I got I just got to have a hit song, but it's like, do you actually have the talent to make a hit song? Yeah. Because even the producer's got to have some sort of talent. Right, and you gotta, you know, view the rapper or the MC. You've gotta have some sort of uh, magical talent in you to project a uh, a song that could make a hit. Sure, because Casper's a good marketer. He's a good businessman now. He doesn't have to have the best songs, but he makes money off his songs. Yeah, and he makes money off his his, his shows. 
He's going to fill up, you know, back home in Mafeking. Definitely. Right? He's going to fill up anywhere else he does it in South Africa. He's going to sell Biliato no matter what. They just got the macro deal. You know what I mean? Sure. But didn't have to battle to do that. This is the thing. The only person yeah. he battles is AK. Yeah. I mean, well, did they even battle? Like a proper rap battle? No, no. They want to battle. He wants to battle in the ring. Yeah. You see, so... They just battle over Twitter. Yeah. So Casper's <laughs> by no means trying to be the best rapper in South Africa. He's not saying, I've rapped every rap against every rapper right, and I'm the right, best. Right, right, He just instills in himself that I'm the right. best. Yo, don't worry about our screen, man. It, it does that. Yeah. So yeah, he, that's what he wants to do. And I think also, AKA too, you yeah. know, they're just trying to be good business people because they're trying to support their family now. It's a and different thing, you know? Yeah. And that's pretty crazy and that's wild. But I mean, like, you know, you're still keeping, you know, you, you're keeping yourself evolved. You keep, you know, evolving with your sound. You're keeping up to date with, you know, the, well, the, now this technology I mean, the basic thing for beatboxing was simply just, you know, creating sounds with your mouth. Yeah, one man, one mic. That's it. Mm. It wasn't, you know, like the drum machine, which we're going to get into. Um, I mean, what's been the highlights of your, of your career? Um, I got to perform at Joburg Day um, just before Corona hit. Uh, I opened for Goldfish. And oh, it was one man, one mic, 35,000 people. Crazy. With the biggest sound system I've ever seen in my life. Yo. And uh, man, oh, I can't even remember my performance. Yeah, because it just takes you in the moment, right? In the moment, I was just feeling the bass from the speakers hitting my back because I was like in front of the speakers. And it's your own bass. And it's my own bass. That's insane. Yeah, that yeah, that was definitely a highlight for me. I would say biggest gig I've ever done. Sure. Um, and then winning the the beatbox battles at uh, Back to the City. That was also quite a proud moment for me. Like not ever really wanting to be a battling beatboxer. Yeah. I won. I was like, whoa, okay. That's crazy, man. So well, let's go back to like the the fundamentals, right? So if I'm you know I'm watching this interview right now. Make sure you like and subscribe and, uh, you know, drop a comment. And let's say, you know, uh, you know, I want to get into beatboxing. What would be the, let's go back to the fundamentals. You know, you could do like the ABC. Somebody told me like, and if you do like a, or, you know, like that could, you know, if you say K or, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Um, so like I would teach people to, 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 to do the hi-hats by saying tennis, but then you leave out the N-S. So it's, it's just, that's a literally it. Shout out. Um, if you want to get into uh, beatboxing, it's it's a lot of time. Uh, YouTube will help you a lot. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube. Yo, um, YouTube, YouTube University. Yo, bro, there's so <laughs> many tutorials. I mean, I, I still watch YouTube tutorials on right. sounds that I want to learn. I've got new sounds in my artillery that I now <laughs> throw into my shows. Right. Um, and then figure out if you want to be a beatboxer that's going to battle. Because there is a difference. I could do a beat for you that I do on stage and I could do a beat for you that I would do when I'm battling someone. The, the battling beat is very much aggressive and yeah. fast and you're trying to show all your moves off in like one minute. Right. Where, where the thing on stage is going to be more of a song that you um, will recognize. Sure. So figure, out, figure that out. Once you've done that, go to open mic nights. Go to open, open mic. mic. Yeah. For um, beatboxes. For beatboxing, man. Yo, I, I, see ya. We got to go, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, first you got to beatbox. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what did you say? The boots and cats. Yeah, so boots and cats is like. Yeah. Yo, let me. I want to beat. Yo, yo, listen to my beatbox. We gotta actually close the mic. Let's. Probably laughing at me, but yo, give yeah. me some man claps, man. I can do this shit, man. Even though it sounded like a multiple car accident. <laughs> <laughs> is that one of your jokes? No, nah, I made that up now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I mean, like, you know, I mean, because a lot of people, you know, we get into ciphers because that's what the beatbox was originally for. It was for ciphers. Yeah. It was for ciphers. I mean, that, so that's how I started. It, yeah. it was, I was actually rapping in grade right. 11 and the guy that beatboxed, and I mean, it's a Boots and Cats beatboxer, was absent. And they went, we need someone to hold the beat. We need someone to hold the beat. Yeah. I got chose randomly, <laughs> hold the beat. And I pretty much did it exactly like that guy. But yeah. they, they were like, nah, nah, you're going to be the beatboxer now for the raps. And <laughs> over a few weeks, people started listening to me more than the rapping. That's they, crazy. They stopped the guy rapping and said, bro, listen to this beatboxer. So it's no longer <laughs> about the cypher. Yeah, so it happened literally like that. Which school are you at? Boxburg High School. Hey, we Morgan all have from our, Boxburg. We all have our, I'm not from Boxburg. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Boxburg. It's my temporary hood. All oh, right, yeah. but you, what, you know, I mean, come on, box yo. I'm from Midrand. Right. By the way, if you're ever in Joburg, Fact. you gotta take a. Po if you're in Joburg, you need a passport to go to Boxburg, <laughs> and Innerdale, and any other outskirt places. But anyway, ah, Boxburg <laughs> is trying. Our tops is getting a spa, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's See, a joke. That is a joke. That's Got a it. Joke, yeah. All right, so we're gonna check out. Um, your freestyle, you know, this is our freestyle section, but we're going to go into more technical. Oh, should we do the technical first? Like, how do you want to do this? Because, I mean, things have changed now. You know, we've got yeah. now, uh, we've got this... Uh, loop station. Loop station. Yo, can you, is this in frame? Can you see it? 
Not yet. We can lift it up, though. Uh, no, we can lift it up so that we can see it on camera. Can, is it there? Or can, we just lift, can we just lift it up? Cool. So this is what we call a, a, a loop station. Yeah. So this is um, a loop station, right? So right. we see five channels. Right. Uh, just show it like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we see five channels with a stop and a play on each channel. Um, and each channel can uh, record infinite loops. That's crazy. But I mean, obviously, we're not going to get infinite loops because it would sound like a mess. But let's say that I could do two sounds on each channel. Effectively, this means there's 20 beatboxes here. Whoa. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, you can put it down now. Right. But I mean, uh, you know, uh, when when, when Roz Rozelle came in and he started, you know, uh, doing like If Your Mother Knew, there's a type of breathing that you'd use and it's uh, called circular breathing. It's... it's uh, yeah, I know where you. I know what you're saying. It's because, it's not it, that. It's not that. It's not that. I can break down that if your mother for you. I can. Did you say a break dance for your mother for you? <laughs> what? I'll break dance for your mother. Oh, you break dance for my mother? <laughs> Shit, that's crazy. <laughs> nah, that, not this, not that kind of show. Um, <laughs> you're making a lot of so, jokes. You, you yeah, should so start your own show. I should. <laughs> um, if your mother only knew, right? If people yeah. don't know, it goes. If your mother, boom, we know. Yeah. So. If goes on the kick, piff, easy, piff, 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 yo, and then mother is in the same position that my snare would be, mother, 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 Damn. I'm not actually saying mother fully, Yeah. so it's piff, yo, mother, boom, we now. Damn, you see even broke it down, slowing it down. So it's not really singing and beatboxing at the same time. You're just manipulating the sounds with your singing to but make. But he killed it though. To trick the mind. Of yeah. course, you killed it. Of course, that I was. I mean, like that was that was revolutionary. That is genius. I mean, circular breathing is guys who play the didgeridoo from Australia. They play that long pipe. Yeah. And you breathe and and you know create sound with your mouth or vibrating your lips at the same time, but breathing as a, as a constant you know thing that yeah. doesn't stop without yeah. you passing out. Yes. <laughs> so. Other than the didgeridoo, uh, beatboxers don't use circular breathing. At all. I can't speak for every beatbox in the Damn, world. Damn, they're loud, motherfuckers. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> all right, so, okay, you can't speak for them all. I get that. Yeah. But, but I mean, I know, you just broke it down. You broke down, of you like, yo, you broke down something that, I, that I've known for like over 20 years. Yeah. That's crazy. That's insane. Busted if you ever want to, yo, if you ever want to go check, yeah, you busted it. You're like that's serious. Like, uh, what is that show called? I'm sorry, Rezal. Myth, Mythbusters. Yeah, Mythbusters. You really just yo busted that thing. If, if you want, if Rezal watches this show, he's gonna be mad at us. Bro. Yo, bro, if you want to go check out Rozelle's show, uh, it's actually off his album called Rozelle 2000. Mm -hmm. Um, or you can check the skit if your mother only knew by Rozelle. Mm -hmm. What's it called? The, the Rozelle the human. Uh, the Human Orchestra. No, that's Kenny Muhammad. That's uh, Kenny Muhammad. That's another crazy beatboxing Yeah, check. mad. Uh, the Human... I, c I can't remember what he called himself. Yeah, But check sure. him out. Check him out. Razel, crazy. He's got mad clips. He's actually one of the most famous beatboxers that actually probably took that being the best to that like money getting that bag kind of thing. You know what 100%. I mean? I can tell you that most beatboxers um, got in, it started beatboxing because of Razel. I'm one of them. Do you, do you, do you produce? I tried. Um, I know how to. But uh, I don't. I, I've, I've never put anything out. I mean, because naturally you understand uh, the beat. You could break down a beat, which means naturally you could actually start producing. 100%. Um, the melody is also that I come up with. I would yeah. like to sit with the producer. I just don't have... I, I, I hate to say that I don't have the time because you can make time. Of course. But um, I would rather sit with the producer and give him melodies, give him ideas. Bro, co-producing. That's what I do. I sit with co I sit with the producer. So I would co-produce, yeah, yeah. co-produce, co-beatbox. I'm going to make a beatbox sample pack though. Oh, that's crazy. And, and give it to all the producers? Sell, give it to South African producers and sell it to the rest of the world. Well, you could lease it. You could lease it. You could lease sounds. Yeah, you can lease, you can lease a whole DJ pack. Oh, and if it does well, you claim. That's right. Sure, I didn't know that. Yo, man, give me some. Yo, I'm, I'm showing leasing my I'm, snare. I'm, I'm showing. Leasing my I'm face. showing my boy Morgan out here how to do this shit. You know what I mean? Thank you. So you can you can le you can lease out um, a, a beatbox pack. Yeah. But you know, and for different prices, just how producers would lease their beats. So you could lease it for ten years, and if it does well, you know, you could pick. You could actually uh, you could get royalties off that. Damn, dude. So you could make certain melodies and lease them as full melodies. And just like what, you know, like what Timberland does. Yeah. Right? So you could do that. And just like what Timberland does, put them over beats and stuff like that. And you can create your own. You could put it out as a, as a beatbox sample pack. Lease them out. People can buy them for like maybe $10 or $30. And lease them for like 10 years. And you just collect the royalties because they're going to have to put your name in. On all the, the tracks they make. 100%.
Damn. I didn't know that. I'm going to rent out my sounds. Yo, see, put me on Switch. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what we do out here. Make sure you like and subscribe. And that's how we roll out here, man. We're going to get into uh, our freestyle section. And I think it's going to be a quite an interesting one because, uh, man, we should have done like, man, I don't know, because it's like, it could be both ways. You know, you could be having, like, we could be reviewing your song or you, it could just be part of the freestyle. But I mean, I don't know what it is because everything you do on here is freestyle. Yeah, um, so I haven't prepared anything on this. Right. <clears throat> I've got um, effects that I can put on my voice. Right, so I gotta, first, I gotta first do this. So we're about to go into our freestyle section and um, my man Morgans is going to explain. Well, he, he doesn't have to explain anything, bro. It's too technical. We just want to see the craft get it to work. You know what I mean? So what we're going to do, we're going to go into our freestyle section right now. We've got two freestyles that homie's going to give us. We're going to give you the traditional like beatboxing and then we're gonna go to the, like the now 2022 you know the the futuristic one now <laughs> all right of how we're using like the sampler and you know how he makes like crazy tracks like you said he's got 20 beatboxes on one machine and including himself that's 21 and uh, he's gonna make some crazy fire you know make sure you like and subscribe make sure you follow my man's uh morgan beatboxes on social media on all platforms i'm sure you must be making money out of tiktok right now nah man uh, nothing but i haven't put any effort into tiktok i haven't put yo, much you gotta in. get onto that man the algorithms are crazy man people gonna love you out there all right so yo here we go man it's my man's morgan beatboxes no producers he is the producer and of course your boy dj swiss the mixtape king you know we live in effect coming to live from m studios switch up Baby. Yes, so let's give us the raw traditional one. Let's get it, sir. So this is my cover of Astro. <laughs> what you know about rolling down in the weep when your frame goes numb, you can call that man some breeze, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean, yeah. Ocean, yeah. Ocean, yeah. Ocean, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you know about rolling down in the... Yo. What you know about rolling down in the Hey Come on Hey What you know about rolling down in the deep end <laughs> Hey, yo, that's what's up, bro. Come on, yeah. man. Yo. Yo, what does your hands got to say about this lip action you're out here? You know what I mean? <laughs> this always comes up, hey? <laughs> yeah, you know, your girl must be saying like, yo, man. Maybe some other hands be was like, yo, man, I need to get with Morgan because damn. Is that the first thing you thought of, Switch? <laughs> nah, we're just getting a little bit X-rated, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yo, because that's what I'm sure... And, you know, you should have had, like, big fat lips right now, like Fat Joe, maybe. Yeah, I've noticed my jaw is, like, built muscles here on the side, but, like... Mm. You, yeah, you've got a little bit of fat cheeks out here, you know? Yeah, I do. Well, I've known him for many long, you know, when you're young, get old, you're like, yo, now. So that's, like, just like, you know, like a saxophone player. Yeah. They'd also, like, you know, their cheeks sort of stretch after a while. Yeah. It's just like, you know, yeah. But anyway, yo, ladies, you want to find out, make sure you follow the homie out there. I don't know what his girl's going to say, but shit. You know what I mean? If I had them skills, yo, trust me. Ha! All right. So <laughs> we're going to get into our second <laughs> restyle section, uh, session right now. And you're going to break it down now. Yeah. Uh, how we got, like, of course, the, the technology mixed with, you know, with the human side of it. And how they, you know, it's not cyborg time, Baba. So we're cyborgs now. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna break down for us, and of course, you know you've got another mic as well, and this is connected to a loop station. Um, you know this is, I mean, you know DJs also use this, drummers use this, and it's just to enhance the show. You know what I mean? When have you have you used this in the show, a live show? I have, um, and I have before, and the reception that I got was that people were like, mm, "You not do, that's not all coming from your mouth." Oh so really? I then become a DJ. Oh, I get you. I you get see, you. Yeah, but, yeah, but like a, a shitty DJ because I can't do what like a hip-hop DJ like you right, can do. Right, right, right. So I just become a DJ. I look like a DJ as well. Um, right. And people are going, nah, it's not your voice and stuff. Where now we'll be able to see that it, all my inputs is from my mouth. Right. I might add an effect. I'm only going to use one effect today. It's guitar to bass. Um, and then I've got an, an, a drop that I'm going to do with a lo-fi. I'm just going to lo-fi that. That's the only effect I'm doing. Other than that, it's all coming out of my mouth. And yeah, this is why I don't use it these days. It's just because you lose the elements of one man, one mic. And I'm not bashing this you. thing. Yeah, it's just what I prefer. I would prefer people to be amazed that that's all coming out of your mouth. Wow, that's crazy. As, as opposed to like, oh, the buttons are helping you. Yo, 
I'm going to ask you to put this phrase in. You're going to put in the phrase, put me on switch on this, on this. Uh, we're going to put him to the test, you know, because he does everything on the fly and he just makes it, yo, I've seen this man in action and, and what he does is absolutely crazy. In actual fact, you're going to do us an intro before we before you leave out of here, man, because, yo, that shit going to be fire. This is going to be I mean? fire. So it's all going to be freestyle. I am going to throw in a rap just to show that I can do a beat and then I'm, I'm, I can rap on top you wanna of battle? it. You want to battle? You want to battle rappers but, now? But it's not going to be freestyle. <laughs> it's going to be one of my favorite. You um, want to take the com the comedian's job? You want to take the MC job? You want to take the corporate job? You want to take the rapper's I'm job? I'm rapping, bro. I'm here. I'm taking you take over. The, yo, man, you just want to take everybody's job out here, bro. Man, I'm sorry, dude. I'm just doing my thing, bro. It's going to sound dope, um, but I do need to say it's going to be my favorite verse from the movie 8 Mile, so it's not my own. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to throw the words on top. Let's see what happens because I don't even know what beat I'm going to do yet. All right, yo, man. This is, you know, the freestyle section right here on Put Me On Switch. We got, of course, myself, the mixtape king, and of course, Morgan Beatbox. You know, it's Eminem, Morgan Morgan. Yo, and he's going to do an Eminem thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's get it, son. All right, let's go. Like a bar and grill, as I proceed to cook and grill ya, let's all the turn to kill ya. You better recognize me like I look familiar. You wanna battle? You beat around the bush like you're scared to lick, so you eat around the tush, uh. Hey! <laughs> yes, sir! Morgan Beatbox in the building, live in effect. Yo! Switch up, up, up. Yo! That's what's up, man. Yo! God damn! Sheesh! That was all um, freestyle, except for the rap. Oh, well, well yeah. I'm just saying, well, you're not a rapper, though. Yeah, I'm not a rapper, so that's why <laughs> I took one of my favorite verses. But Yo, man. Yeah, I mean, that all, the melody, the bass, the, the melody of the bass, I just came up with it on the spot, especially this one. Yo. I was like on the spot. Yo, let's break down those sounds, bro. Yeah, I mean, so you, you've, I decided to just do like a simple hip hop beat with a nice sub bass on top, under it. Uh, four bars with a trick at the end. Then I added in this one. I feel like I could have done better. Yo, yo, it's like an off sound. It's really not in yeah. beat. And then I wanted to change the bass. So this is what I was talking about. So it's just my. Mm, mm, mm. But then when I low fi it, this one happens. Yo, and then. Easy. And normally what I'll do is I'd reinforce the snare. And then like you could go like check it, check it. Check it, check it. Again. Check it, check it. Check it, check it. Then go. Woo! Check it, check it. Woo! Check it, check it. Woo! Check it, check it. Check it, check it, check it. Yo, check it, check it. Yo, 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 y
Yo, about to give me a loop station right now, bro. That's his debut <laughs> performance. Yo, trust me, man. At one stage, um, you know, when I wanted to take my DJing to the next level, um, there was this one guy, DJ A Track, and um, you know, he also did something with the loop station, creating uh creating beats with uh, you know, with 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 with, with scratching, because you can drum, you can drum yeah. and you can scratch. So you also break it down like beatboxing. So you yeah. drum on, on the turntable. Did you, just, did you say Redwood? Redwood did do it before. Yeah. But another guy, 8-Track, did 8-Track, okay. Yeah. So he was actually uh, Kanye West's DJ when he was much younger. He was the first DMC champion at the age of 16. Cheapers. Yeah, and then uh, Kanye West took him on his Stronger Tour. Nice, nice. Yeah, crazy. I, I've seen DJs do that too, ba- making beats with their... Uh, yeah. So they make a beat with scratching. They, That's they, Redwood does it with Beard, Beardy Man. He's a British beatboxer. Whoa. Yeah, and uh, it's mad. You should check this stuff out. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're still up in the, in the Swiss Alps out here, man. You know what I mean? Sorry, my bad, you know. The mountains. Yeah, my man Tumi out here, he's, yo, he's mesmerized by Morgan Beatbox. <laughs> All right, so, you know, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, make sure, yo, you got to, you know, I'm going to be doing a lo-fi album. I think I need to, I need to put you on that shit, bro. You got, you got to give me one track. Like, let me do the beats of one track. Yo, yo, give that's a deal. Beats. That's a deal, right? That's a deal. That's it's, a deal. Well, Morgan now, and Morgan right there. We wouldn't call it that. We won't call it Morgan and Morgan. Eminem. <laughs> Eminem. Yo, Morgan Beatbox, thank you so much for coming through, bro. Absolutely, man. This is You know what's going to do? We're, after we cut this, he's going to actually do the intro for this episode for us, and we might even keep it, and we can use it whenever we can, with your permission. Damn, I'm down, dude. Let's All do All right, it. yo, it's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. It's your boy, DJ Switch, the Mixed Up King. We got Morgan Beatbox in the... Bu- uh, did, I, did I say Mixed Up King? Yeah, that's right. And uh, Morgan Beatbox in the building. You tune on to put me on Switch. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're coming to you live from M Studios, Newtown Junction. And make sure you also stream us live on podbean.com. Put me on Switch. Dot, put, uh, put me on Switch. Dot podbean.com. Yeah, I had to break it down. I got too much to you say. You know what I mean? run out of English. <laughs> yo, I have run out of my English, but man, I'm, yo, you just killed it for us. Yo, and that's going to be a cut. See ya. Are we out, bro? We out.